Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, a lot of you have written to me to say that you really enjoyed my pearlescent paint series. So today, I'm revisiting the pearlescent paints. I'm of course using a black background and I'm gonna use a marble to create some interesting lines and patterns on top. One marble, or shall I go for two? Let's go for two marbles today. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to control them, but let's just have some fun. Let's play with our paints and let's see what we can create. So today I'm using a 24 by 12 inch canvas. I've already painted my sides. You can see all the sides are covered. And here are the pearlescent paints. Now, obviously they all look white because that's what they are. They're all that kind of tone before they transform using the dark background. So you can see here, I've had to write all the colors on my cups. You'll see the consistency is a puddle, a mound upon a mound, comes off the spatula into the cup. These are mixed with pouring medium. So I use Otrol, European version of Floetrol. I use one part paint, one part water, three parts Floetrol. And I've done that with all of those paints and also the base. So I've used a Lamp Black by Amsterdam for the base. And I'm literally going to use the base on this canvas and then puddle the pearlescent paints on top before placing the marbles and having some fun. So I hope you're all well and nice and relaxed to watch me paint and I'd love for you to try this too. So if you do, let me know. And I'm going to add the black to the base first. This is Lamp Black by Amsterdam. I'm just going to spread out some of the paint across the canvas, but I'm not going to spread the paint across the canvas fully. That means I'm not worried about the edges at the moment because what we'll be doing is we'll be adding volume of paint to our canvas by adding the pearlescent paints on top of the black. By adding more paint, in this instance, the pearlescent paints on top of the black, we're adding more volume. So when we go to stretch out our design, there's gonna be more than enough paint on the surface of the canvas to allow us to stretch out our design. As I'm popping the bubbles with the torch, if you look closely in the reflection, you can see how my face is really concentrating. <laughs> so yeah, maybe don't look too closely. So I'm now gonna take one color at a time. So I've mixed all my pearlescent paints up and I'm just gonna add puddles of these pearlescent paints on top of the black. Once I've got enough puddles on my canvas, I will then take both of my marbles. I'm very nervous about using two marbles. I think I can control one, but two, mm, let's see. Let's see if it causes chaos or whether I can pull it off. So let me leave you now with puddling the paints on the surface of the canvas before we continue with the process. One thing that I absolutely love using these pearlescent paints is the magic it creates when you stretch out the design and leave it to dry. I obviously know the colours that I'm using. I'm mindful of where I'm puddling those colours. But really and truthfully, we will never know what it's going to be like until we start stretching it out in terms of the pearlescent paints reacting with the black and then leaving it to dry. So this is probably why this is one of my most fun techniques and fun paint brands to use because everything really is a surprise. So I'm gonna continue puddling the paints and then I'm gonna add not one, but two marbles. Thank you. 
One thing that I would like to say is I'm so grateful that you tune in to me each week and watch me create these designs. I'm really, really pleased that you enjoy them and I read every single comment. But if you are enjoying this, please hit the thumbs up, the like button. I'm asking this because it really helps me reach new audiences and people that might be interested in this kind of fluid art and also watching me and supporting me create this type of art. So if you're liking this, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, it's also free to do. And that really helps me grow as an artist here on YouTube. So as you've seen, I've taken one colour at a time and I'm literally placing puddles on the black paint that we've already got down on our surface. You'll see that the volume is increasing and that's going to really help when we stretch out the design. But we've got the fun part to do first. We've got two marbles. Mm, whether that's a good decision or not, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to first of all pop all my air bubbles. Air bubbles appear in the paint if you've just mixed them. So I don't want any holes in the pieces once they're drying. That's why I want to pop the air bubbles. And this torch does that. So I'm just going over the paint with my torch. I'll show you a close up. Can you spot the colours as they're starting to transform? I can see some of the purple. I can definitely see some of the blue and the green. In my experience, the yellow and the red doesn't transform fully until it's starting to dry. But yeah, so that's how we've puddled the paints on our canvas. So I've now got my two marbles. <laughs> I'm laughing nervously, guys, because this is either going to be chaos or success. I'm going to place them quite near to each other. So I'm going to put one here within that puddle, and then I'm just going to use the puddle next to it. And then I'm going to pick up my canvas get a feel for the weight of the canvas, and then just start, there we go. Ooh, I'm gonna start tilting my canvas and allowing these marbles to travel across the paint puddles that we've layered to create different lines and patterns across the surface. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to drop the marbles onto the table before stretching out the design itself. there's some really gorgeous lines and the colour is already showing up. So let me take you in for a close up before I stretch this out. You can see some of that colour. It's already coming through. You can see the black paint. So that's going to be the negative space that I keep. And there are a lot of lines in this piece. And I'm hoping when I stretch this out, I'll maintain some of those lines where they've infused together. So let's get back to tilting and one thing that i would say is don't rush this process don't rush this part of the process when you're doing your creation get a good feel for the paint and decide before you tilt what corner or what edge you're going to tilt off first and then move the paint back on itself so tip the canvas back in the opposite direction to keep the paint the volume of paint in the middle of the canvas that will then allow you to tilt the canvas again and move the paint to another corner or another edge before you tip off the paint. That's also going to reduce some of the paint wastage. And paint's definitely never wasted because anything that drops onto the table is scooped up and used as a flow extender or a base color in future pieces. So just take your time, look at your composition and really look at the lines that are forming when you tilt.
allow yourself to push the paint over the edge fully and then tilt again in the opposite direction to spread the paint out fully on the surface of the canvas. By bringing the paint back on itself again, which means bringing it into the middle and over the top, will allow you to really stretch out the design. Once you've got full coverage on your canvas, you can then look at the composition and the pattern that has formed on top and then you can stretch out whatever direction you want by pushing some of that paint over the edge and by stretching some of those lines that have been created by the marble fully over the surface. You can make the lines as wide as you like. You can keep some of the negative space, so the, the black colour that we layered on the surface before we puddled the pearlescence. Okay, so I'm really happy with the composition of this piece. I'm just going to place the canvas back on the stand. Just make sure it doesn't fall off. I'm gonna take all the drips off the edge and I'm gonna take you in now for a close up of the wet version. And here we go. So you can see some of those colors are already transforming into the colors that they're meant to be. You can easily see here some of the greens, the yellows and the blues. I really love the lines. This piece has really captivated me in terms of how many lines there are within the lines. So I hope that it stays like that and dries really well. And I'm going to be really interested to see what other colours pop through throughout this piece and how all the lines kind of form together. I'll leave you now with some of the details. I'll let this dry and I'll be back to show you the dried version. And you don't want to go anywhere because it's going to be a wow moment. Okay, so I think I've shown you enough of the wet version. Are you ready for the dry version? Three, two, one, da-da! There we go, the dry version. And just look at how vibrant some of these colours are. That blue really stands out. And what I love about some of those blues are there's different tones within the blue. The yellow is really shining through here. There's that block of yellow, that violet and that red that's together there. And I just love how that green is also shining through. And I love the different tones that are within each of those puddles. And of course, you'll remember I used two marbles and some of the lines and details that those marbles have created by me tilting them around the canvas are just, yeah, it's a bit of a wow moment for me because I really, really love this piece. And you'll remember that I did a pearlescent series. I actually started my pearlescent series nearly, yeah, a year ago, a year ago in January. So I'm just adding to that. And I love, I love, love, love these colours all together. So let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe to my channel, it's free to do so. And let me know what you think of this piece in the comments box below. And I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. Have a great week everyone and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.